Welcome to our Deutz AG results for Q1 2024 on April 13th. My name is Mark Schneider. I am the new head of investor relations, corporate communications and marketing at Deutz. And I'm happy to lead you through our figures. This is just a normal disclaimer. And then we start with our most important numbers. We had a good start into the year, despite a weak economic backdrop. We have shown a very solid performance in Q1. New orders went down nearly 20% to 419 million euros, but we had an increase in comparison to the last quarter of 2023. That's a turn around of also nearly 20%. Revenue declined by a bit more than 10% on prior year period, but product mix and price effects had a positive impact and the share of revenue attributable to service business rises to 28%. Service is a very important part of our dual plus strategy. I will come to that later on. And talking about solid performance, that means especially the EBIT margin on continuing operations. Continuing operations means without the torpedo business we have sold a few weeks ago. And that EBIT margin is 6.1%. That is very robust and it shows the benefits of the implementation of the Dual Plus strategy. You can see that on this chart that historically both the revenue and the EBIT margin followed more or less the same development. And for the last year, the red arrow you can see from 2021, 2022 on, we had an EBIT margin before exceptional items that is developing higher than the revenue. And that makes the company more resilient or the developments in the markets. On this chart, you can see the importance of the service activities. I've just mentioned the CAGA since 2021 is plus 20% after the COVID crisis. It's a vital part of our strategy. We expect the revenue to be north 500 million euros this year and north 600 million euros in 2025. This also includes M&A activities and it's nearly 30% of our revenue in total. We had the focus on pricing. Last year, we're still benefiting from the optimized portfolio constellation and the pricing initiative. But now we turn the focus to material cost reduction and capital allocation. There are concrete measures we follow. You can see more details on, on this side. It's a holistic cost reduction program, and um, we want to reach cost savings in the double digit million euro range in this year. I just mentioned the sale of Tokido that is completed. The transaction was completed on April the 3rd. We have received the high double digit millions of euros already and the book gain will be in the low double digit millions your plus strategy that's the core of what we do and we are making progress in all areas dual plus means our classic segment our classic combustion engines combined with the green segment, our CO2, less CO2 emission products, our e-engines, and especially hydrogen engines, the first gen sets orders just from China. And the plus and the dual plus strategy, that's the service part I've already mentioned. We focus on performance, Coming back to Classic and our partnership agreements with Daimler and recently Rolls-Royce Power Systems that was signed in March. We expect the closing midst of the year so that the uh, positive impact will still be foreseeable in 2024. About our new robustness, you see the profitability in Q1 and in the recent quarters, and we have still an EBIT margin in the range 
of our guidance and in former years, we would struggle to be profitable. And now it's a very robust margin despite all the headwinds. See, the key operational and strategic um, developments on this page, orders coming down, unit sales coming down, revenue not coming down in the same amount because of our pricing and mixed initiatives, the very robust EBIT margin, the positive cash flow, the importance of our partnership with Rolls Royce Power Systems the completed sale of Tokido and the new importance of our service business as a stabilizing factor. Now, finally, I would like to talk about our guidance for 2024 that remains the same. So unit sales between 160,000 and 180,000 revenue in the range of 1.9 billion to 2.1 billion euros, adjusted EBIT margin between 5.0 to 6.5%, and a key free cash flow in a mid double digit million euro amount. Immediate targets based on the dual plus strategy remain also valid. The revenue above north 2.5 billion euros, service business share of revenue approximately 600 million or more and an adjusted EBIT margin between 6.0 to 7.0 percent. That's our financial calendar for the rest of the years and the contact details. Please reach out to me if you have any questions and thank you for your interest in Deutsche Energie.